Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this discussion, we will learn what the keto diet and ketosis are, the different variations of the keto diet, how the keto diet can help people with refractory epilepsy and Dravet syndrome, and who can benefit from the keto diet. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb eating pattern, which differs from the general healthful eating recommendations. The keto diet was originally created for children with uncontrolled epilepsy. Different variations are now available for both children and adults. Many people have used the keto diet for other reasons, such as reducing body fat percentage when training. However, you should consult with your physician before starting the keto diet plan. According to the Charlie Foundation, ketosis refers to a byproduct of the breakdown of fat into usable energy. Ketones are used by the body as a source of energy. Ketosis is defined as having blood ketone levels that are greater than 0.5 millimolar per liter. According to the Charlie Foundation, there are five versions of the keto diet. Many of these versions are strict and are monitored by a licensed physician. Along with epilepsy, people battling cancer and Alzheimer's disease can benefit from following the keto diet plan. The classic keto plan is an individualized plan in which food is weighed. Meals should be consumed in their entirety for best results. The classic keto diet consists of 90% fat, 6% protein, and 4% carbs. The macronutrient ratio is 4 to 1. The modified keto diet is used for people who are just starting on keto or are planning on using the keto plan long term. The modified keto plan consists of 82% fat, 12% protein, and 6% carbs. Macronutrient range is 3 to 1 to 1 to 1 range. MCT, also known as medium chain triglycerides, is a structured diet that allows more carb and more protein intake compared to the average keto diet. The MCT plan consists of 73% fat, 10% protein, and 17% carbs. The macronutrient ratio is 1.9 to 1. The modified Atkins diet limits the amount of carb intake, encourages fat intake, and does not limit protein. Carbohydrates are to be consumed when fat is consumed. The modified Atkins diet consists of 65% fat, 30% protein, and 5% carbs. Macronutrient ratio is 0 0.8 to 1. The low glycemic index plan is an individualized plan, yet it is less structured. Low glycemic uses exchange lists for planning meals and emphasizes complex carbohydrates. This plan is not intended to promote ketosis. Macronutrient ratio is 2 to 3. Intermittent fasting is a dietary intervention that shifts the body into ketosis by limiting the time frame when one eats. Intermittent fasting forces the body to access energy from body fat. There is no macronutrient ratio for intermittent fasting. This form of fasting is normally not used for controlling seizures. What intermittent fasting is popular for is many people who power lift, they're in combat sports such as martial arts, they will have routines of what are called bulking and cutting. Bulking is when you're trying to build muscle and cutting is when you're trying to reduce body fat percentage. I've been doing martial arts on and off for 17 years now. I power lift and I do yoga. 
and in doing this, I have used this fasting technique to help reduce body fat percentage when I am trying to um, prepare for any type of tournament, anything I was doing to make sure I was in the level of shape I wanted to be prepared for. However, even as simple as it sounds, this is something you still want to consult with a doctor with before pursuing or taking any route with it. Because if you have any type of pre-existing condition, you don't follow this correctly and you space out too long, you're fast, or don't eat enough, you don't count your macros and properly get what you need, you can make yourself very sick from this. So if this is a route you do t decide to take for any meal, you know, exercise plan, any weight loss, anything like that, talk to your doctor first before following through with it. For individuals with refractory epilepsy, many things are taken into consideration before a plan is put into place. The age of the patient, the type of epilepsy, if the patient has a metabolic illness, socioeconomic issues, and the level of commitment and dedication from the parents if the patient is a child. Studies have shown that children with refractory epilepsy who take part in the keto diet have reduced seizure activity, improvement in cognitive function, and improvement in social skills and behavior. The goal is to be able to reduce the amount of anti-seizure medication. Research has been done to show the benefit the keto diet has provided for people with Dravet syndrome. Evidence has been found that patients with Dravet syndrome who have been on the keto diet have had a reduction in seizure activity, reduction in the amount of medication needed, and an improvement in their quality of life. Even though the keto diet was created for children, adults with epilepsy can now follow the keto plan. In 2010, John Hopkins created the Modified Keto Plan for Adult Patients Who Have Drug-Resistant Epilepsy. For those interested in learning more, please check out the link listed on the slide, which will explain the requirements to take part in the program. In conclusion, the keto diet is beneficial for those battling epilepsy when medication has not helped. There are five variations of the keto diet with some needing to be followed under a doctor's supervision. Individuals who are battling refractory epilepsy or Dravet syndrome can benefit from the keto plan. Adults now can benefit from keto as well. Remember to always consult with your physician before making any changes to your care plan. To learn more about the keto diet, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos on our channel and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.